So the precision V-band turbine housings are machinable for different cartridges. So a good example is this one that I machined for an HX40 67 millimeter. Now this guy sent me one that was already machined for a PT 66 millimeter turbine. However, if you wanted this done, I highly recommend you grab a 62 millimeter just because it's easier for me to redo the radius. Because on this one, I had to machine it for the inducer and then when it went to do the radius, it didn't cut all the way out. So I had to move the cartridge in some and I don't really want to move it in more than I have to because then it can start to put the turbine, the width of the blade, it can put it out of the flow stream, which is where it's not supposed to be, but it will probably still work fine, but I prefer to make it correct if I can. The reason why that was is because the precision 66 millimeter turbine has a wider blade for the tip height. So when you put the whole set 67 in there, it was a little bit more narrow, so you couldn't make it exactly right. So I just put it in a comfortable location. So keep in mind, if you want to have a turbine housing machine like that for an HX35 or something different, you just have to make sure that you buy the correct housing. So you'd have to buy one that's machined to a smaller turbine. That way we can upsize it to a bigger turbine. And also you should keep in mind the blade widths, just like I mentioned in the example going from a 66 millimeter PT turbine to the HX40 67 millimeter, because if it's already machined too deep, then it's hard to make up for that tolerance unless you move the cartridge in, which I prefer not to do that more than I have to. To give you some options of the turbine housings that can be machined out for the HX40 and HX35, the T3.63 from the Precisions are common to be able to be used for that, and the .82. So the .63, I would only use that for an HX35. The HX40, I feel like that's a little bit too big for that. And from the T4 turbine housings, you can do a 0.81. You could do a, well, you can actually do quite a few other ones too. There's the T4 on centers. So the T4 on centers, they can, some of those can be machined out for the HX35. It depends on which turbine was previously in there. And there's, yeah, so there's a 0.96, a 0.58, there's a point, and those are both open. There's some divided. The open ones and T4 tangential, tangential, are 0.81 and 0.96. Then when you go twin scroll, the options are 0 0.84 and, and 1.15. Those can all be machined out for the HX40. Some of them can't be machined for the HX35. You just have to get it, get a housing that's already machined to a turbine that's smaller than what you're gonna put in there. The ones that already have the P-Trim turbine housing machined, or machined for the P-Trim turbine, I usually don't like to make them work for an HX4064. I just take them to the 67 and that's because the width of the blade is different. The HX40 blade width is actually kind of short and you can't really make up for that unless you move it in and I don't really like to do that. But the, the 67 millimeter, the tip height is fine. It's much taller than the normal or the most common 64 millimeter turbine. So you can upgrade and I do that all the time or a lot. I just upgrade the T4 turbine housings to the 67 millimeter turbines. The turbine housings that can't be machined for the whole sets are anything ball bearing from GT25R all the way to GT35R. Anything GT37R can be machined because the GT37R uses the same style bearing housing as a journal bearing TO4E turbo or precision turbo that has the P-Trim turbine in it. 